two, one. This type of launch has become almost routine. Private rocket company SpaceX sending a capsule of supplies to the International Space Station under contract by NASA. SpaceX employees celebrated the successful separation of the Falcon 9 rocket booster from the supply ship, then held their breaths. Because on four prior missions, this next step ended in failure. Not this time. The rocket booster headed straight toward that platform in the Atlantic Ocean and stayed there. The Falcon 9 on board. Mission finally accomplished. It, it, it's kind of a touch of Hollywood. Christopher Gaynor has written several books about the history of space exploration. It's a fun moment and, and it's exciting. It's exciting to see and it is definitely a step forward. So, uh, but we, we still have to see how big a step forward it's going to be. His reservation about the size of today's step has to do with those past missteps. The only other successful Falcon 9 return happened last year on very stable land. Getting it right both on land and at sea is key to SpaceX being able to reuse the expensive boosters and bring down the cost of launches. SpaceX founder, billionaire industrialist Elon Musk said today that will lead to even more lofty goals. I think it's another step towards the stars. Um, in order for us to um, really open up uh, access to space, we've got to achieve uh, full and rapid reusability. Musk says achieving that will require a lot more Falcon 9 landing attempts and he acknowledged likely some failures as well. The goal is to one day make landing a rocket ship as routine as launching one. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.